Hey yeah. guys, Matt here from Vape Views Australia. Back again with our Vaping 101 webinars, getting you guys in the know about herb vaping. Now, in my previous videos, I touched on the difference between portable and desktop vaporizers. But in this post, I'm gonna be going a little bit deeper into that realm, explaining the difference between manual, analog, and digital vaporizers. Now, it's pretty easy to comprehend. When we say manual or analog, you can generally dictate that based on a clock an analog clock doesn't have an LED display. It's got the simple burp, 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 progressive tick around the outside. Whereas a digital clock obviously requires a power source, so batteries or sort of an external power supply from a wall to get, uh, get its reading going. So with vaporizers, it's pretty similar. We've got devices like the Volcano Digit that have got the UB digital display on the front that help you to read temperature. They show you the set and the actual temperature. And it's a little bit more user-friendly than say a device like the Crafty which is an analog vaporizer. Now, so this is in fact still a digital device, as in it's got a battery on the inside that powers the internal heater. But the reason it's classified as an analog vaporizer as opposed to digital is that there is no display on the device. So to set temperatures, you can either use these uh, Bluetooth enabled smartphone app, or you can just click this little booster button at the front each time and click up by an incremental five or 10 degrees. So it doesn't have the added user-friendly component of being able to select one degree at a time, but it still is pretty user-friendly comparative to something like a manual device, like the iLight. Now, some people love manual devices for their simplicity. There's usually just one uh, temperature setting or heating mode on there. And so you're getting a consistent outlet of vapor at all times. So the iLight is actually powered by butane gas, so it doesn't have any internal battery or power supply. Instead, it's got an internal gas tank and a little burner. So once activated and switched on, it will heat up the internal thermostat, and once it clicks to about 175 degrees Celsius, so the ideal temp for vaporization, it will stop. So it will just keep heating the herb at that consistent temperature of 175. So for someone that's just looking for a device to have around their house, just something simple if they want to vape every now and again, the manual devices like the iLight are perfect. Now there's so many different types of vaporizers on the market, it can be difficult to choose. So make sure you're checking out the rest of our Vaping 101 line of videos to stay in the know about herb vaping. Thanks for watching guys, look forward to seeing you next time.